but I'm kind of in the middle of something. The movie's about a team of Navy SEALs and NASA astronauts who have to work together to rescue the survivors of an alien invasion on a deep space station. It's been in various forms of production since 2004 when it was a live action visual effects demo produced at the Dave School, which is a school I founded, and in 2008 it was remade as an animated short. In the time since, I completed a feature length screenplay and opened an animation studio that provides previs for the theme park industry. Pre-visualization is simply creating an animated preview to work out all the options and problems before the project goes into a much, much more expensive production phase. So while we don't have the budget to do a DreamWorks or Pixar movie, we do have the resources to go ahead and start working on the previs. With a successful Kickstarter and a break in our client work, we started production on a full-length animatic of our film, NASA SEALs. To speed things up and keep costs down, we found two very cool technologies. The first is Perception Neuron, a motion capture suit that you can use anywhere. It comes in this tiny little box that has everything you need. The raw data is not bad, and with a little filtering and motion builder, it's great. And the best part is you can get the whole thing for about $1,500. When I first heard about it on their Kickstarter campaign, I backed it immediately. So whenever we need to do a quick mocap, one of us gets in the suit, takes about four minutes. We do a quick calibration, and we're recording. We got to know the team behind Perception Neuron, and they introduced us to iClone. iClone is a 3D animation package. It uses game engine technology to produce great images in real time. It has some advanced features like physically based rendering. At the click of a button, you can see light bounce off your object and create real world shadows, reflections on metal surfaces, even refractions in glass. It handles normal maps, image-based lighting, and HDRIs. You can also buy thousands of assets made by the iClone development community or bring in your own work. It's easy to bring your rigged character to iClone. They have an asset conversion tool called 3D Exchange. You load your characters in FBX, reference your joints and blend shapes to their proprietary system, and it saves them as an iClone avatar. It also has some very cool tools like voice recognition for automated lip sync. Once you set up your characters, you can feed it the dialogue track and it does a great first pass on character lip sync. You can also control facial expressions and actually anything with iClone's real-time puppetry tools. And what's really cool is you can use Perception Neuron and iClone together. They have a plug-in so that you can see the animation you're recording in your environment at the same time. It's not just dots or skeletons on the screen. You can see how the characters interact with each other and the environment in real time. We use lots of different motion capture files. Some of it comes from shoots we do in studios, some of it's from the Perception Neuron shoots we do here in the office, and some of it we download from Mixamo. And once they're in iClone, everything is editable and accessible. As a filmmaker, one of my favorite features is the switcher. Our workflow starts with blocking out the action. Once all the performances are blocked out, I like to position several cameras in key positions to cover the action. I can build my entire edit in iClone by cutting back and forth between different cameras. And if I move a prop to accommodate one shot and I see how it looks in other views, I can make the changes right away. And we've had situations where we didn't like a certain pre-recorded motion. We have to destroy every last one of them. So we put on the Perception Neuron, fed the data live into iClone, we have to destroy every last one of them. and could see what the character would look like in real time. Well, I go from playing a Jamaican guard to Captain Stone to uh, the big bad robots. I play almost everybody in the movie. And with this, I can see the other performance and then layer one on top of the other. That's something that I wasn't able to do before because you're just kind of trying to imagine it. And, uh, you know, as an actor, you can imagine things. But this really just makes your job a whole lot easier. And not that long ago, the only filmmaker that had a chance to do that was James Cameron on Avatar. We really liked working on the scene in iClone. It's become a regular part of our tool set. It works seamlessly with most major programs. For this demo, we were thrilled to work with the audio recording students at the First Institute, a very cool career school here in Orlando. They provided the music, sound effects, and final mix for this clip. And now we proudly present what we'll call Previs Plus from NASA SEALs.
This is it. The army that would have overthrown democracy in Cuba. Aw, he's a cute little guy. <laughs> I thought they would be bigger. Nano X7 technology with a Guider 840 processor. Wow, the Jamaicans really do make the best stuff. Kind of a shame we have to sink them. Sink them? They'll just walk to Cuba. We have to destroy every last one of them. I guess the accessories are sold separately. Whoa, that is awesome. Short burst! Aim for the head! He don't get that! Captain! There's gonna be more of them! How many? On uh, a uh, very many! Kelly, emergency X bill! On the way! Any remaining charges should stay here! Up. Follow me! I love you, but I'm kind of in the middle of something! You should have listened to me! Fasten your seatbelt. I thought we were in a boat. We are! It's the fun crew! 